Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming tech emulation and open source news. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off talking about Windows emulation on Android with not Win now, but Win later. And Win later just got a brand new update. So at the time of filming, Win later 6.0 is the latest version, and this update is huge. They added in a magnifier, added an option to add wallpaper. They've improved the user interface. They've improved X input compatibility. They've improved input controls and cursor sensitivity. This is big. They added support for an external mouse. They've updated Wine Box 8664 Turnip. They've added a Bring to Front option on the Task Manager. They've added 7-Zip on the Context Menu. They've removed the option to install OBB Image as it's all now in one APK. And we've got performance improvements and bug fixes. Now it's worth pointing out if you've got a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, you may have some issues. There are reports of it not working. If you are curious about Win later, I'll drop a link to it in the description below and feel free to check it out. And speaking about big updates, next up we're talking about Retro Deck. And for those who may not be aware, Retro Deck is designed to be an all-in-one sandboxed application for playing emulators and a lot of different games. It's available for the Steam Deck and also Linux PCs. Now it's worth pointing out that this update is currently in testing, but Retro Deck is getting support for GZ Doom. On top of that, it'll have built-in support for things like Mugen, which is huge. They've added in Ryujinx for Switch emulation and removed Yuzu. They've added in Vita 3K for PS Vita emulation, and they've added in MAME for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano or Multiple Arcade Machine emulation, depending on how you want to interpret that. They've also got massive controller improvements across the board. And for those of you wondering about Citra, RetroDeck has removed the standalone version of Citra. However, there is a Citra core in RetroArch, and as far as I know, that remains. It won't be removed unless RetroArch removes it. If you are curious about RetroDeck, it's 100% free, it's open source, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. And speaking about the Steam Deck, next up we're talking about Battlefield 5. Now this game currently works on the deck. It says it's got a gold rating and it runs perfectly after tweaks. However, it isn't officially supported. And as of April 3rd, it may not work on the deck anymore. So as of April 3rd, EA is adding in an anti-cheat to the game and that's probably gonna break compatibility. Obviously, this is super unfortunate to happen to a game that came out six years ago. I'm not sure why EA is doing this. Anyways, the game is currently on sale for a whopping 85% off, but if you're picking this up specifically for the Steam Deck, it may be a purchase that you won't be able to play. Now, if for some reason you don't believe me, for reference, EA put their anti-cheat onto Battlefield 2042, and that game does not work with the Steam Deck anymore. Next up, I am only talking about this one because a lot of people pinged me about it. It's kind of a non-issue. Anyways, it appears that there are some tensions with the Suyu development team. Now for some context, the developers have not been able to get Princess Peach Showtime up and running in Suyu. However, Sudachi, which is another fork of Yuzu, recently had an update to get Princess Peach Showtime kind of up and running. And it appears they want to borrow that code. Now Crimson Hawk, who also goes by bus, is the owner of Suyu. And they decided to just flat out take the code and put it in Suyu and hope for the best. Now it appears that during that whole process, Crimson Hawk, or bus, did not give any form of credit to Sadachi for writing that code. And this is where things start to take a turn. They say everyone is angry with Bus right now. Bus committed this and basically convinced some of the team members that he analyzed for code and made up his own fixed, which is BS. Now, I could be wrong here, but based on what I'm reading, it appears the developers are mostly upset at Crimson Hawk because he tried to pass the code off as his own instead of admitting it came from Sudachi. The kicker here, and the reason why I didn't think I needed to talk about this, why I don't think it's a big deal, and why I think it's kind of a nothing burger, Antique weighed in, who is the person behind Sudachi. And he says, I am not bothered to be honest, so he basically doesn't even care. Now, if I had to speculate, I would guess that all of this was possibly the result of some developers maybe feeling a bit of pressure trying to get Suyu up and running in a very good state. And this takes me back to my original message. Suyu is going to take time. The developers have to learn a lot of code. 
They have to learn how Yuzu ran. They have to learn how to improve it, and it's going to take a lot of time. People are going to have to be patient with this one. But moving on, and next up, we're talking about a brand new Xbox, the Xbox Series X All Digital Edition. And images have started to circle the internet. Now, the rumor of the Xbox Series X Discless Edition has been around for a while. I'm surprised they're doing this one in white. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. Do you think this is going to be the future for gaming, an all-digital future? Next up, we're shifting from Xbox to PlayStation, and this is just a quick heads up that the PlayStation Store is having their spring sale. There are deals up to 70% off. If I'm not mistaken, there's, I think, 3,700 items on sale right now. Now, if sales are not your thing and you prefer free instead, well, I've got you covered. Bandai Namco has just dropped three free games on Steam. The first one here is a robot hacking game called Not A Lot. The second game is called Deronko Wanko, and this is where you're a dog and you get your house dirty. And the third game is called Boomer Road, where you slide along rails that you create. According to VGC, all of these games were created by new recruits to Bandai Namco. They learn the systems and create these games before moving on to bigger projects. And speaking about free stuff, next up we're talking about OVR advanced settings. If you've got VR, if you use OVR, or if you're thinking about using OVR, you might want to pick this up. It's not going to be free for long. As of April 14th, OVR advanced settings is going to cost people $7.99. The developer says that's to continue on with the project to improve it and to build upon it. And I can understand that. Let me know your thoughts about OVR in the comments below if you actually use it. Next up, an absolutely huge game was announced today, Marvel Rivals. And this is a 6v6 superhero team-based PvP shooter. And I'm assuming other games like Overwatch are going to be paying close attention to this one. Unfortunately, there is no release date just yet. But what we do know, it's going to be free to play. It will be on PC. It's being developed, I think, by NetEase. And this thing is going to be very popular. At least I think so. Next up, we're talking about a ROM hack. And this is called Gophert Goman, the Grand Cycle of Oedo. I might have mispronounced that. This is an English translation of a Japanese PSX game. This game was originally released back in 2001, and they're saying it's a complete translation, and the base game has not been changed. If you wanted to see the game in action, I'll drop a link to a YouTube video in the description below, and feel free to check it out. And I'll drop a link to that ROM hacking page as well in the description below. And last up here, we're talking about the highly anticipated Snapdragon X Elite ARM CPU. And here it is with Baldur's Gate 3 up and running at 1080p at around 30 frames per second, which is super impressive considering this is emulation. They're saying that performance of the Snapdragon X Elite is comparable to a Radeon 780M. I am very impressed with this, and I think it's going to be an awesome step forward for Windows on ARM. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state. <laughs>